for direct primary care, does it make, uh, is it a better fit for certain size groups, like a large group versus a small group or both? Um, what we actually see is larger employers probably have invested in that direct access care um, more predominantly just because of the size of their employee base. But we are seeing smaller employers looking at some sort of solution for that direct access, whatever that may be. Um, I think that we've also seen some folks collaborate together um, to have a bigger employer or employee base, sorry, um, to, to bring services to more of a collaborative partnership. Um, we've also seen that self-insured folks um, kind of started this ball rolling because it felt like it made sense for them to do this since they were um, looking at their dollars um, for health care. Um, but now we're seeing fully insured folks um, jumping on this bandwagon as well. I think there's an, uh, maybe uh, a myth uh, mm -hmm. in the market that um, direct primary care is only really for a large group. So it sounds like that's not necessarily the case. Uh, maybe a, a, an on-site uh, care my way where we bring the equipment in that the employer can mm -hmm. utilize would gear more toward a large employer because they might have, as you mentioned, that added square footage or space. But it sounds like then, if I'm understanding correctly, that a small group can use Care My Way uh, virtually, right? Where they can encounter or have the provider encounter, or it could even be the mobile primary clinic coming to um, employers of all sizes. So a large group, again, uh, would probably make a ton of sense for small groups, you know, if we have uh, a, a certain number of people, right, that we mm -hmm. have enough to come in and engage on the on the clinic, that that would make sense. So it's not necessarily just for large employers. Is that correct? That is correct. And really a smart vendor of any of these services will sit down with the client and really talk about and focus on what is their objective and vision. Where do their employees really need help with this type of care? And then what happens is the product should be looked at at a broad spectrum. It could be one type of service or it could be a combination of one or two that really helps bring health care to those employees. So you're absolutely correct. It could be large, small. It could be a combination of services. It could be a combination of focuses that that employer wants or concerns that that employer wants to solve for their employees. It really is a um, message to the employees that they care about their health and that they care about their employees. Yeah, I agree. And it's really, uh, I guess, a means that, that at least for Security Health Plan Marshfield Clinic, we can say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Employer, we can engage you basically then at any level of what your need might be when it comes to that direct primary care, whether that is, again, helping you with your own on-site uh, area, right? Mm -hmm. Or it's doing it virtually with Care My Way, or if it's bringing our mobile primary care to their site, right? That is correct. And folks that have on-site clinics now or an older model of an on-site clinic, what we really wanna do is do an evaluation of their services and really find out their niche needs. Um, it is very much a customizable service and really the ability to look at what your employee population is struggling with and then bringing the appropriate care to them so that we can help their whole staff become more healthy.